It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Houston Texans. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the Space City, Houston, Texas, and NRG Stadium. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olton here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football. And you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another. And I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other. They study each other. They work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends. And come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win. But when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. Here's Joshua Carty ready to get this one started. And off we go from Houston. A return now from the... Oh, no, right at the start and loses the football. What a brutal way to start the game. You're thinking of getting the ball, getting your script, running your plays. Instead, Greg, it is a fumble lost on the opening kickoff. It's just absolutely the most disastrous beginning of a game you could possibly dream up. And what you do now, Mike, is not only does the other team get the ball, you send your defense out there early in this game and force them to have to defend a short field right away. To throw right away is Stafford. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Cooper Cup was the intended receiver. And that will lead to a second down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. Stafford. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Great pass rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation. And for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. Hardy's kick is good. And the Rams are out to an early 3-0 lead. You know, they did a lot of good things on this opening drive, Mike. I know they stalled out once they got down there into the red zone. They're going to need to work on finishing some of these drives as this game moves along. But that's a good three points to start this game. points on that opening drive we'll see the response as the kicks away here comes a return from the five a good return as he takes it across the 30 the Texans come out with the rookie of the year from last year in the NFL CJ Stroud he was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State Greg a talented quarterback here if there's going to be a poster child for just how flawed the pre-draft process can be at times, I think this guy's at the top. I mean, just think, last year, people are nitpicking him going into his rookie year. He can't do this. He can't do that. And what does he do? He comes out and has arguably the greatest rookie quarterback season in NFL history, not only bringing his franchise back to life, but really establishing himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the entire league. And some good footwork there. He'll take this forward for a gain of eight. Good decision by the quarterback. In this situation, all you're looking to do is have a positive play. He decides to pull it, and that's exactly what he's able to do. 
He'll come to the line now on second and two. They run with the longtime Bengal, Joe Mixon. And he'll have enough to move the chains. He'll take this forward for about three yards. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. Set to go now on first and ten. From the gun, here's Stroud. A pass complete to Noah Brown. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. They'll run with Nixon. And he'll be close to a first down. A gain of a couple as they mark him just short. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. This is hot. He got the connection to Collins. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. run out of the gun with Mixon. He'll move it ahead for about three yards. Christian Rose boom. They're on the tackle. Second and seven. They'll go right back to Mixon. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back? But not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. Well, they hook up again, second time on this drive, and this one's good for 18 yards and a first down. Well, the run after catch is certainly nice, and they're definitely going to take it, but watch the savviness of the route running. Certain guys just have a better field for running these slant routes than others, and it's a nice result. Out of the gun, here's a give to Mixon. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six. On the option, they give it to Mixon. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. play action. Stroud. He'll get this one complete to Brown. And the Texans are going to be set up with a first and goal as they're able to convert there on third and three. Barring some type of disaster with that big pass pickup, it puts them in position now where they feel like they can at least walk away with points off this drive. I just feel like it has to be six. I feel like anything less than that will be a letdown. 
They'll run here with Mixon. And that big offensive line clearing space. He's in. Joe Mixon. Touchdown, Texans. A lot of big bodies down there, but at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, and once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run and get, 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 I'm going to run into it, and they get six. Now, Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. His kick is good. And the tech, 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 and the And so after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it up. To return, here's Ronnie Rivers. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Rams offense going to take over now for the second time. The trail by four, a touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. bootleg with Stafford that's hauled in on the left by Nakua and he's brought down after a game of six on first down they'll work now on second and four on the play fake here's Stafford Finds Nakua downfield complete. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. First and ten. On the ground, this is Williams. He'll take this down to the 47. It is Aziz Al Shire with the stop. Here's second and nine. Shotgun was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. When that defender is bearing down, you really get a good idea what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch, and in this case, what guys are unwilling. That one into the hands of Atwell. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. Yard line, yard line, yard line, yard line, yard line, yard line, yard line. Yards. This defense just gets punched in the mouth on that one, Mike, and it just seemed from up here that not everyone on defense was on the same page, and the offense was able to take advantage of it. The defense has to clean things up here in a hurry, because if they don't, they could be in for a long day. A first down throw for Stafford. That one on target to cut. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal coming up 
They try to finish off this drive with six points. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. And think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. I don't think... And he'll take it on in. Puka Nakua. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Joshua Cardi comes out now for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Rams are on top. It's now 10 to 7. Once more as the kicks away. Here comes a return from the three. Whoa. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Texans offense ready for their second possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. set up to throw and he can't hang on through the contact it's incomplete what a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving and it'll be second down he's usually such a reliable target in the passing game Mike we just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often and when you're one of the go-to guys on your team I know the hits coming but guess what it feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Stroud connects with Collins. And it's a first down for Houston. You don't want to make a living off of making these kind of throws, Mike. It's one thing to throw into tight coverage, but it's another thing to throw into tight double coverage. And while the quarterback gets away with one here, I don't think you want to make a living doing it. He'll spot his big tight end. That's Dalton Schultz. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Stroud to throw. This one complete to Jordan. Taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. 10-7 is the score. More from Houston coming up in a moment. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Stroud. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. Bad in motion is Brown. They will work the middle with Mixon. Good running there. He's got the first down. 
inside the 30. Schultz is the motion man. Off the play fake. Here's Stroud. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. He's going to be marked down at the 12 yard line. That's two catches on this drive. This one for 10 yards and a first down. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass. And He's able to pick up a nice game to his tight end. They'll run on first down with Mixon. Not much there. Maybe a yard. A second down throw for Stroud. He pulls it in around the five. He is in. Noah Brown. Touchdown, Houston. Now Fairbairn for the extra point. He's got it. And the Texans are on top. It's 14 to 10. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. He'll start at the four. Now an opening past the 30. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. Puka Nakua and this Rams offense come back onto the field. They'll do so with first and ten. Now Stafford, and he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, will lead to some easier and better completions. Third and six. Working out of the gun, Stafford. There's a short one taken in by Higby. 
Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. So it's fourth down, hunting time. Ethan Evans to do the honor. As he is on to kick it away. That's a nice job of making things more manageable for this offense as he takes it back beyond the 25-yard line. The Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. The lead sits at four, so they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. going to tuck this one on the zone read. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. 12 yards on the game. That's good for a quick first down. Man, when it works well, the zone read is a thing of beauty. It just adds another dimension to this offense. And if the defense doesn't get a better plan, they're going to continue to do it all day. Here's a give up the middle to Mixon. And he'll be brought down, but what a run. Down to the 40. And it's a gain of 20 on the heels of another big play to begin this drop. This is a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. Here's first and ten. They'll go play action with Stroud. That's over the middle and caught by Collins. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. in motion is Brown. Off he goes. And they will take him down at the 20-yard line. Give him 11 on the scramble. And give them a new set of downs. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. But a nice job by the quarterback, realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off, turn into a runner, pick up the first down. Stroud to throw here on first down. Quickly to the outside and complete. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. On second down, Stroud. That is part of the three. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal. Very nearly a touchdown. He's going to be marked out of bounds just shy of the pylon. This is a great example, Mike, of just how effective it is when you're efficient on early downs throwing the ball. I mean, when you can pick up first downs without getting the third down, as the game unfolds, things just get easier and easier. Take what the defense is giving you. Don't force the ball downfield. Howard forward. He's in. No mix it. Touchdown, Texans. That's his second touchdown so far here in the first half. What a standout performance early on in this one. That his second rushing touchdown of the game. And some backs, Mike, they just have a sense of finding the end zone and being able to finish off these runs. That's exactly what this guy has been able to do today, and we're just getting started. Fair Bear to add the extra point. 
The kick is good. And the Texans are out to a 21 to 10 lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it up. This returnable with Rivers. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Rams' offense ready to take over once more. They'll look to make some inroads here. They're down 21 to 10 in this one as they come up on a first down. He'll find his tight end in the middle of the field to Tigby. And he'll mark him down just shy of the 40. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. by Cup. And it'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield, down to the 40-yard line. Wow, they are moving the ball to start this drive. 21 on that play. Two minutes remain here in this first half. Craig and I, back from Houston. In a moment. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Out of the gun, Stafford. Pass caught right side by Higby. Give him 15 more on that one. They are on the move. It's a first down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch. But I can promise you, the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. Throwing again is Stafford. Hunt brings it in left side. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but... With the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. They'll throw once more. Here's Stafford. He gets it into the hands of Atwell. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10. First down, L.A. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. Again, it's Stafford. It is brought in, in the end zone. Puka Nakua, touchdown, L.A. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. Cardi now to add the extra point.
It's up and through. And the Rams are back within four. It's 21 to 17. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Texans offense and running back Joe Mixon heading out onto the field. They'll start it here with a first and 10. From the gun, here's Stroud. Back to the outside. He's got Diggs. They get 11 and quick to pick up the first down. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. On first and 10, here's Stroud. Over the middle. He's got the tight end Schultz. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. From the shotgun, see the shotgun, see the shotgun, see the shotgun, see the shotgun, CJ And that's gonna be a first down. A pickup of nine. Here's Stroud. Toward the boundary, taken in by Collins. 15 yards through the air. It's good for a Texans first down. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders, it's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. Now a deep ball toward the end zone. That is caught. What a throw. Touchdown, Houston. Now Fairbairn for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Texans add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. little time remaining in this first half as this kick is away this one will be taken in the end zone no run back forthcoming 
And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he works his way through an opening. Up past the 35. Nice run for eight on that one. Stafford. That's pulled in on the left by Matua. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. first half will come to an end okay mike thank you more from you and greg in a moment but for now welcome one and all to our ea sports halftime reports it was joe mixon who had it working in the first half he had a nose for the end zone as he wound up with two touchdowns on the ground in those first two quarters coach thank you not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. This returnable with Rivers. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Rams offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. Off play action, it's Stafford. Throw right side, home in by cut. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. A big one there to start the second half. 31 yards. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw. And now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Play action, Stafford. That's going to be intercepted. That's the linebacker, Aziz Alshai. And the Texans are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Well, Mike, I think it's pretty clear what the message was by this head coach at halftime. He said, listen, guys, we're behind. We're trailing. We're going to come out early in this second half and be aggressive from the get-go and cut into this deficit. But oftentimes, Reckless decision-making, over-aggressive play-calling leads to turnovers. Now, this defense finds themselves heading back out onto the field a little earlier than expected, but they need to hold serve and keep this score right where it is. From the 35, it's first and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Strack. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. 
And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think. Here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. To the left side, caught by Schultz. Now a third and two. On play action. Stroud. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively. Setting up a fourth down. And that's exactly how you teach it. They want these defenders to time the hit. That right when the ball gets there, you separate the receiver from the ball. And... Those are the ones on offense, man. You just have to make that catch, Mike. I know it's easier said than done, but you know the hit's coming. You've got to squeeze that thing, brace for impact, and make that play for your offense. The Rams offense, ready to get back at it. And they're going to hear it from this crowd. They're back up deep as they start first and ten. From his own end zone, it's Stafford. This one complete to Atwell. On the give, it's Williams. And the defense there to meet him. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. we will try to run for it with Williams. And he's got nowhere to go. The defensive front is the line of scrimmage there. That is going to bring up fourth down. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized it was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no game. The Rams punching unit coming up as he'll have to hit it from his own end zone. Here's King to return. Oh, hello! He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. Well, he had such a great first half throwing the football. There's no reason to think, Mike, coming out here for the start of the third, that anything's going to change. He's picked up right where he left off, and the numbers are indicative of just how well he's played. They'll come up here first and ten. Now, Stroud. That's caught right side, the tight end, Schultz. And he'll get about eight on that one, most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Now, Mixon. He'll work forward for a couple. He's brought down by Kobe Turner. Here's third down and a few inches. Back to throw. Stroud. He's got his man. It's big. He's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. 
Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one on one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there, and that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I think everyone in the stadium, probably even including us, Mike, is expecting a run there. So what do you do on these early downs? You call play action. I love it. You're hoping to catch them off guard and selling out on the run here down near the goal line, but the defense was ready for it. Nowhere to go with the ball. It's a really nice job there by the defense. And he will score again. Go Mixon. Touchdown, Texans. He has come alive after the break. His third touchdown of the second half. And make it a hat trick. That is his third rushing touchdown of the game. A big reason his team is on top. And so far, Mike, this run game has been the difference. And we're going to see in the second half. Now, can they protect this lead? Because, Mike, that's where a run game has its most value. And so far, this guy's been incredible. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. Here come the Rams as their offense drops back onto the field. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. In motion, it's the tight end, Higby. Stafford now to throw on first down. They'll come up here on second down and five. They go play action with Stafford. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. Stafford now on third down. That's taken in by Higby. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Cup in motion. To the air again, Stafford. Quickly, they get it into the hands of Williams. Good-looking screenplay there, a gain of 11, and a first down. 
Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. We got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off a good start. Just pushing defenders out of the way as he surges forward for a gain of about five. Second down, it's Stafford. He gets it into the hands of Atwell. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Give them 14 on that one. First down, L.A. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Play action now for Stafford. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender, and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. Just pushing defenders out of the way as he surges forward for a gain of about five. From the gun on third down, Stafford. This is caught at the two. To the goal line and in. Cooper, up. Touchdown, Rams. We were talking during the break, Mike. We felt that this was kind of a do-or-die drive. They felt like they needed to come away with a touchdown here, and now they're showing a little life. Yeah, a little, little bit of belief, don't you think? Everyone on that field knows they've been a part of a comeback before. It's a pretty big mountain, but a good way to get started here to begin this half. On comes Joshua Carty for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Rams are able to cut into the deficit. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kicks away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out, so they'll take over at the 30-yard line. This offense ready for their next possession, led by their running back. And as we go through the highlights, no shortage of touchdowns today. Three trips to the end zone in this one. The combination, the power, the speed, everything on display, and the defense has seen it all. begin on the ground and here's Mixon 
Defensive coaches preach every day, Mike, swarm to the ball. Get as many hats to the ball carrier as possible. And this is a great reason why. The ball carrier is able to make the first guy miss, but it was the pursuit from the rest of the defense that's it's to the defense, 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 that's able to... ...here, second and ten. Here's Strap. They try to work the screen with Mixon. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So, no shortage of offense in this one as we end the third. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down, they keep it on the ground, and they keep it with Mixon. And that'll be a pickup of three. On second down, Stroud. To the left side, into the hands of Collins. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Stroud connects with Collins, and it's a first down for Houston. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays, and these drag routes can be very, very effective. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Bad in motion is Brown. He'll let this go deep for Diggs. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a touchdown. But I don't think he knows yet that this one is coming back. From the gun, here's Stroud. Over the middle. He's got the tight end, Schultz. Well, they'll get the penalty yardage back here. Pickup of 10, and it will be second and 10. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. That's to the left side and take it in by Diggs. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. That one good for 18 yards. And two, the 18-yard line. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy or watching this guy or watching this guy or watching this guy or watching this guy run the ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, 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 that foot in the ground. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. And they'll get him up four here as he is taken down.
In motion now, it's Collins. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. 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 To throw is Stroud. And that is hot in the end zone. He's in. Noah Brown. Touchdown, Houston. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Bear Bear to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Texans will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. This returnable with Rivers. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They'll begin with first and ten. Now they'll set up to throw. Huff brings it in left side. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Out of the gun, Stafford. That one on target to Williams. He's got it. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. It's another big play in a game that's had its share. And even 30 yards. Stafford to throw again. He'll find his tight end in the middle of the field to Tigby. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play, winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass, because that quarterback, he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time, and he's able to secure a really nice catch. Again, it's Stafford. That is hauled in at the five. And he is going to be out of bounds. That is a gain of 20. And what a chance now. First and goal coming up. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark. 
just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. That'll be caught by the running back, Williams. And he'll go down, back at the four. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped. And that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and results in a negative play. They'll throw once more. Here's Stafford. That's hauled in at the two. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. They're in four-down territory for sure, but what can they do on this one? It's third and goal. That is caught, and he's in. Tyler Higby, touchdown, Los Angeles. That is yet another touch, get 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 another touchdown pass. Four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Cardi now to add the extra point. It's up and good. And the Rams are able to edge a bit closer. This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. Well, we knew, Mike, this was going to take a miracle. All they needed to do was recover this score, recover another one, score again. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, and this game's all but over. Another really nice throw right there. And as you can see the numbers he's been able to put up here, I'm a little surprised, if I'm being honest, Mike, with just how easy it seems to have been. It just seems like he's made every right decision every time that he's decided to throw the ball. in motion is Brown. Here's Mixon. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. Second and 11. Motioning one of the tight ends. Again, they'll give it to Mixon. There he goes. Inside the 30. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. They'll run with Mixon. He's got another first down and more. And he gets marked out of bounds, but inside the five-yard line. They get 24 on that one. And just like that, it's first and goal. Really nice job getting this ball out to the edge. And then once he's able to get clear of the D-line, get vertical and accelerate down the sideline. That's a great run. He's forced out of bounds, but not before setting up first and goal. They'll send a tight end in motion. They'll 
trying to run this one in. And he's going to be stopped just short of the goal line. Couldn't reach that ball across, setting up second and goal. Now, here's second and goal. They look to run with Nixon. And he's into the end zone yet again. Joe Mixon. Touchdown, Texans. Make it four touchdowns for him on the afternoon. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front. They deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Now Fairbairn for the extra point. He's got it. And the Texans tack on one more to their lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. This one taken at the seven. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The visitor's offense ready for this next possession. Things not looking good. But see if we can get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. the shotgun it's Stafford he'll drop this down to Williams and they bring him down but not until he gets the 45 yard line 13 yards to start that drop and a quick first down the best quarterbacks Mike they don't necessarily even have to see the running back in the check down they can just feel him it allows them to keep their eyes downfield allow their tight ends and wide receivers to continue to work open in this case, nice job by the quarterback getting that ball in his hands and letting him do the rest after the catch. And the tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 16, and it's two nice plays to begin this drive. Stafford now on first down. This one complete to Atwell. And he's out of bounds, but they are in the red zone, out inside the 20. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now, and a first down to boot. To the air again, Stafford. That is caught. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal. Very nearly a touchdown. He's going to be marked out of bounds just shy of the pylon. They'll get a new set of downs. It's a gain of 19. A couple of big plays, one after the other. And now it's first and goal. Throwing again is Stafford. Under pressure, and now he's going to go down back at the eight-yard line. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play. And that's exactly what they did. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. So it's a win here for the Texans. 
This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Texans, as we say, so long from Houston.